all by myself. USA just released fully functioning female robots. Aren't you constantly wondering, much like us, just how far along America has already advanced in robotics that yet hasn't been made public? Well, that only time will tell. But let's take a look at the latest robot news from the American sphere. Navoa unveils new automated disinfecting robot. Navoa Inc., a healthcare technology company based in Gilbert, Arizona, recently announced the debut of their next generation of Nimbus, an automated disinfecting robot. This latest advancement in disinfecting technology further demonstrates Navoa's investment in its mission to develop technology-based solutions that automate disinfection in healthcare for better and more consistent results and outcomes. The new Nimbus machine will make its debut at the annual conference of the Association for Professionals in Infection Control and Epidemiology this month in Indianapolis, Indiana. We could not have chosen a better venue to unveil this latest product, said Mark Hine, Director of Marketing for Navoa Inc. The annual APIC meeting attendees are one of the most important stakeholders responsible for reducing healthcare-associated infections, and we are excited to show off what this next-gen technology is capable of. Navoa's flagship product, Nimbus, is a robot that atomizes Navoa's hospital-grade EPA-registered disinfectant into a dense fog in an unoccupied room. The disinfectant reaches 100% of room surfaces and also disinfects the air. Nimbus's rapid dehumidification process automatically removes any remaining disinfectant solution, allowing for immediate room re-entry. The system has been proven to be 99.9999% effective against pathogens that cause healthcare-associated infections and is 300 times more effective than manual cleaning alone. Automating the disinfection process has also been shown to reduce labor by up to 64%, allowing EVS personnel to focus on other tasks. Symbotic goes public in SPAC deal. Wilmington-based Symbotic, a maker of robotic hardware and software for retail distribution centers, is said to become the latest Boston-area company to go public by merging with a Special Purpose Acquisition Company, or SPAC. Symbotic will become listed on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange after its acquisition by SVF Investment Corp., a SPAC launched by the Japanese conglomerate SoftBank. Symbotic will receive a $200 million investment from SoftBank as part of the deal, along with a $150 million cash injection from one of Symbotic's biggest customers, the retail giant Walmart. The deal values the company at $5.5 billion. A SPAC is a publicly traded shell corporation whose owners can acquire a private company and immediately take it public. SPAC deals became hugely popular in recent years as they offer a simpler, quicker way for private companies to go public. But they've come under fire from critics who note that shares in many SPAC companies end up trading for far less than their original value. For example, Walton Medical Robotics Company Vicarious Surgical, which went public in a SPAC last September, has lost more than half its original value of $10 per share. Bedford-based warehouse robot maker Berkshire Gray has lost 75% of its value since its July 2021 SPAC offering. World's first controversial robot has Glasgow accent. A viral video featuring a talking robot has become the talk of the steamy, with everyone saying that it appears to have been blessed with a Glasgow Uni accent for some bizarre reason. The Twitter video captioned, The first robots are about to hit the market, shows Realbotics CEO Matt McCullen explaining how the robot, known as Harmony 2.1, operates. Since being posted online, the video has racked up nearly 2 million views and features the robot come to life to utter the words, I'm glad you came back so fast, baby. 10 minutes without you seems like an eternity. Glaswegians have been quick to react to the video, with folk in their droves taking to Twitter to express their surprise at the bizarre Glasgow accent the robot seems to be using. One wrote, Why'd they make the robot be from Glasgow? Another responded, American dolls with a Glasgow Uni accent, who would have thought it? And a third tweeted, Sounds like she goes to Glasgow Uni. Others have pointed out that the robot sounds like the automated voice that greets passengers using trains headed for Glasgow Central Station. Uber launches robot food delivery. Uber Technologies Inc. recently said it launched pilot food delivery services with autonomous vehicles in two California cities and said it was adding electric vehicle charging stations into its global driver app. The announcements are part of Uber's annual product event where the ride hail and food delivery company showcases the latest updates to its app. 
Uber announced one food delivery service using autonomous cars and a separate pilot using sidewalk robots. Both services are available to Uber Eats users in Santa Monica and West Hollywood in California, and consumers will have the ability to opt out of the programs. The autonomous car pilot is in collaboration with Motional, the self-driving joint venture of Hyundai Motor Co. and Aptiv PLC, and was initially announced in December. It, however, launched just recently. Uber said the sidewalk robots are provided by Serve Robotics, a spin-off of delivery company Postmates, which Uber acquired in 2020. The vehicles in both services are actively monitored by human operators, Uber said, adding that it will be some time before this technology is operated at scale. Self-driving companies have repeatedly pushed out timelines to provide truly driverless trips at scale, with only a few limited fully autonomous programs available across the US. Uber also said it was launching a map of electric vehicle charging stations in its driver app in the US this summer, and later worldwide, in an effort to promote drivers switching to a battery-powered vehicle. Maconaqua student names knee surgery robot Community Howard Regional Health has a new knee surgery robot with a student-inspired name. Maconaqua Elementary School student Freedom McHenry coined the hospital's Vellus Robotic Assisted Solution as Nilinksy, a play on her fifth grade teacher's last name, Cassandra Nolinsky. Nolinsky was the first patient to have surgery utilizing the robotic tool when she had total knee replacement surgery at the hospital March 23 by surgeon Dr. Philip Huang. I was really excited about it because he explained to me that the robot can help him make more precise cuts in the surgery, she said in a statement. Nolinsky's students, who study robotics, participated in a contest to choose a nickname for the robot. Freedom was presented with a certificate in recognition of her winning name. Community Howard was the first in the state to obtain the Vellus Robotic Assisted Solution. This robotic technology is a very exciting addition to our orthopedic program and is among the most advanced systems being used for knee replacement surgery anywhere in the country. Wang, who is part of the community orthopedic specialty care practice, said in a statement. What this brings to patients is a higher level of precision during the surgery that we believe will lead to less pain, a faster recovery, and improved overall quality of life after the surgery. Artificial Intelligence – Robot Baristas? WSU Smart Factory has it all. Want a robot to make you a coffee? The Smart Factory at Wichita State has you covered. The Deloitte Smart Factory is the most recent business to open on WSU's innovation campus. The factory has advanced technology focusing on the future of manufacturing. It uses a mix of artificial intelligence, cloud data, machine learning, vision solutions, and more. And yes, it includes a robot barista. Visitors at the Smart Factory of Wichita will experience the Smart Factory concept that bring together cloud, artificial intelligence, computer vision, and more to create interconnected systems that use data to drive intelligent actions, said Stephen Laper, principal and Smart Factory leader. The factory had an opening event featuring six speakers and a tour of the facility. The factory focuses on four pillars – experience, sustainability, community, and philanthropy. For experience, visitors will have the opportunity to be involved in real-world demonstrations, hands-on workshops, and see practical applications, Laper said. The factory is expected to draw 5,000 visitors its first year, according to Laper. For sustainability, the 60,000-square-foot building runs off renewable energy on a smart grid. The factory finds community through its partnership with Wichita State University. In support of a community that is known for its deep roots in manufacturing, the Smart Factory at Wichita is working with Wichita State University to bring together the latest technology expertise with the university's research, educational, and innovation capabilities, Laper said. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.